go. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Northside Plow with Pop One Podcast here with another feature match from the locals at Pandas Paradise in Gulfport, Mississippi. We got my boy Zorro and my boy Josh. Zorro is running the blue purple Reju leader, and Josh is running the black Luchi leader. Um, Josh and I think Zorro, I think this is their first time on feature match at the Pop One Podcast. So welcome. Welcome those guys, and if this is your first time at the Pop One Podcast, be sure to like and subscribe, it'll help us out a lot, and we really appreciate it. Before we get into it, let's talk about our sponsors, that's Dueling Guard, yes, Dueling Guard, your one-stop shop for binders, deck boxes, card sleeves, anime art cards, all types of stuff, and they have the new Mustang and Windscar collections available for pre-order. Your Mustang collection features embroidered deck boxes with two different single player play mats, two player cloth play mats, and anime art cards. And the Windscar collection is everyone's favorite furry eared protagonist with an embroidered box, single player play mat, and the anime art cards, all in collaboration with Davison TCG. Make sure you use code POP1 at checkout. It gives us, a, it gives you guys a discount, helps us out a lot. And uh, yeah, shout out Dueling Guard, great people. All right, it looks like Zoro won the dice roll. I, I didn't hear what he picked, but you know we'll go with it. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll see soon. Um, and a decent matchup. I haven't been seeing a lot of Reju pop up. Uh, he chose to go first. Haven't been seeing a lot of Reju pop up. Um, all because of the RP law. But the thing is that our locals RP law has kind of been slacking a little bit. We haven't been seeing a lot of it. We saw it a lot at the beginning of OP07. But didn't see, haven't been seeing a lot in the past few weeks, so that's decent. So decks like Reju can shine a little bit of light. All right, going back into the game, Luchi has the uh, field spell, the uh, the stage, as one please players call them. Um, I'm a former Yu-Gi-Oh player, so field spells and, and Yu-Gi-Oh terms come into action sometimes. But it looks like Reju didn't see their stage which can be kind of problematic in their game. But he swung big, and Lucci went ahead and took. Back over to Lucci. We're already at four Don. He's going to swing eight at life. And takes. Playing the span dime, which gives you a search for a CP, and then trashes the rest. Looks like maybe a Sabo and a Suru in trash. Alright, five dawn for Zoro. Swing and six at leader, counters out with the Kaku. Tap four for Ichi, Ichiji I think his name is. Going into, uh, it's kind of like the black yellow Luffy with the baby bros. You put a small one out, get a big one. And this big one is a seven drop 7K and he has rush. So he gets to swing seven, and Josh ends up taking the life, and then he passes. Okay, so Zoro's, you know, he just got the deck built. He's still learning a little bit, so that leader effect is very crucial in this gameplay. Shout out to Josh and Zoro with always having the best play mats at locals. Uh, they're so cool. I love the Zoro one and I love the Straw Hat one that Josh uses. Zoro also staying with the dope Dragon Ball Z sleeves. He always has some different ones. I think he actually played Dragon Ball Super um, back in the day. I see the Reju sleeves back there with uh with his Dawn deck. Very nice. Also, the alt leaders just make it look oh so good. 
So we're going to swing 7 at lead, activate and leader effect. And Zoro counters out. No effect on Luchi and pass. So he just drops the four drop Rob Luchi, which is a good removal card, but it's also a good body. Four Don for 6k, I believe. It's, it's a good body. So he's just going to try to build up board a little bit. And I believe that Reiju does have cards that can bounce four or less back to hand. Let's see if, he, see if we see that play. So he's going to swing five at life. And he's going to use the Khalifa to counter seven with his Ichiji. That's what I meant. No trigger. It's gonna tap two for blocker chopper. And pudding. So pudding, uh, shuffle your whole hand if you have five cards, I believe. Shuffle your whole hand into the deck. Uh, five or more cards, you shuffle your whole hand into the deck, and then you get to uh, you have to draw five cards. So you, it's a good card for blue to reset their opponent's deck. Really good in the cards like yell in the decks like yellow that hold big hands. Um, really any deck to tell you the truth because a lot of decks nowadays they're starving their opponents out and they're just building their hand and uh, putting is a good way to give them that restart make them really rethink their plays because you know looking at your hand the whole time you're you're kind of mapping out what you can do up some people play up to two turns ahead so it's a uh, it's a very good card and it's a card that you got to watch out for every time you play against any blue deck all right, so he goes ahead and pass. He has the blocker and a pudding on board. Pudding is small, but you can still attach. I think she's a 4K, so attaching two Dawn and having a 6K swing is not bad. Also with the blocker on field. But I'm sure Rob Lucci's going to figure out how to uh, get rid of some of these because we all know the black decks have really good uh, removal. And we'll see what he does. He's going to rest stage. I think he does negative one. Or negative two. Okay. Play a Gekka Moria. Suru and Luchi. So he'll do Suru effect to give neg two on Chopper. And Luchi will get rid of a two cost and a one cost I believe so yeah great removal right there with another body on board okay he gets the stage finally you both have such good artifacts. No, I don't. Rusty has scroll rack, another talisman, and the key to the city, which makes myself unblockable. And I have taste. So I was like, who is going to play the most artifacts the next turn? But, Rusty, I'm not going to hook you over two times in a row. 
but I was like, if I get if all my stuff goes, I'm I'll take it. You'll take a damage. Oh, what the fucking whores! Fucking whores! Pass. So we're gonna aid at the loot you. Counters out. Yeah, of course. Six doctor He's got five active dawn. He's gonna rest one for I think she's a searcher. Oh, she gets one from trash and adds it to hand. Vince Smoke family. Cool. A lot of cycling in this Raju deck. Send a Dawn back, draw one, send a Dawn back. Draw two. There's all types, of <laughs> all types of stuff to get you a lot of cards in hand. And he's gonna swing seven at lead, and Lucci takes the life, and I believe he passes. It's a pretty nice board on Lucci's part. Um, Moria is such a powerful card. Lucci being a 6K and plus a 5K leader. <laughs> And Spandime, you know, has a lot of, uh, has a 2K as well, so attaching 3 to him is just a 5K swing, so. I can't see how many cards Zoro has in hand, but we will see. Well, we see another Moria. Not a lead. Reggie takes no trigger. Just gonna go ahead. Swinging seven at lead. He counters out with eight. Swinging seven with Rob Luch. Uh oh. He could attach a lot to Spandime. And get a big swing. Is he thinking about it? Oh, 
He's thinking hard on his next move. It's a lot of dawn. He can't gecko. He's already spent eight. I mean, three. I mean, swinging nine with the spandom, and he takes it. Yeah, it was risky. I was like, depending on how he goes down the next turn, you probably kill him. Or actually, you could do like a uh, weak tap. Like, basically, it was in between swinging the spam dam or playing with Rebecca and adding another 2k back to him. Um, so, if you did a weak tap, I was able to get 2k. I don't think you were tapping. I would be able to get out of one more. And then one more. And then, if you play that one, so it was kind of like 50 50 chance. He could he could have lived, but yeah, just I guess risking it for the biscuit I guess was uh was the move on his part and it ended up getting him the game. All my top end, but it was like very, it would have been better if I had my uh, best roller. I had like a two K one K. I had three Morias and one eight cost Sabers. Dude, it's such a gamble because of the last game that we like messed it up. So oh, like a Luffy? Yeah, always always hit him with the fucking footy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, always hit black, yellow, Luffy, any yellow deck with that pudding. <laughs> well, GG's, boys. Thank you guys for getting on the feature. I'm sure we'll see you guys again. Shout out Zoro and Josh. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We're going to see you guys again real soon. Peace.